In our previous session, we created a report that gave us a summary of counts of operating systems in our environment. In this session, what we're going to do is we're going to build on that report and create something that a manager could find more useful, which is going to be a chart. So let's just go into the design piece here. And instead of creating an entirely new report, we're going to just utilize this one. So grab the footer line here and drag it down. Select your entire report that was previously created and drag that down. What we're going to do is we're going to insert a chart right here. So we'll go to the Insert tab. I'm going to select Chart, and we're just going to go through the Chart Wizard. Uh, we're going to connect to that existing uh, data set that we created last time. Click the Next button. We're going to create a column chart. And what we want to do here is make sure that our X and Y axes contain the correct data. So the X axis is the categories, and we want our operating system names there. And the y-axis is in the values field. So we want our quantities in the values field. So click Next after you've done that. And we're just going to go with this default chart here. Now, the thing that I want to show you here is that you will need to resize your chart because you will not get very good results on the first run if you do not resize the chart. As you can see, it, you can't read it. So we're going to go back into design phase, and let's expand that chart a bit. Um, let's move it out here, and we may end up having to just go ahead and drag this down a little farther. So we will do that. We'll make those adjustments, and we'll go ahead and center this guy. And we'll drag this a little taller as well. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and change the title. We're going to change the x-axis here. We're going to go ahead and make that quantity. And we'll go ahead and select it and bold it as well. And let's raise that up to a 10 point. With this, uh, we're going to raise that one to the 10 point as well. Bold that. We're going to call this operating system. Now, here, this, we can do a couple of different things. Let's go ahead and run this so that you can see what that's going to do. Right now, it's going to, it's going to change it to a, a vertical display. And I'll show you the reason it's doing that. So we'll select that. We're going to right click and go to the horizontal axis properties. And that is caused by the label section here. It's doing an enable auto fit. Um, I usually disable that auto fit and then I make my adjustments here. So I want to show you what this is going to do here. If you'll notice, it's, it's creating a little bit of a wrap. So we could do a couple of different things. We can change this to an angular fit. We could change, we could enlarge this report so that it fits a little better. Um, and what I'm going to do is I am going to move this down some more and widen this report. And we're going to change this chart out a little bit. Oops. And drag this down. Let's go back into these properties and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this to a 45 degree rotation. And what that'll do is list them out this way. So let's run that, take a look at the results, and there we go. Now, if you have uh, a lot of operating systems in your environment, that may not be the optimal thing to do. So you can play around with those, whether you, you know, prefer to have it auto-fit your, your titles for you or whether you want to work with them and, and figure out how the report looks best. But here's how you create a, a chart to uh, summarize your data based on a previous report, or you could start with that report and do the details report later. That's all there is.